Well, there is an incredible outpouring of support for South Bend Animal Care and Control Center recently. This support comes in the wake of the fire that killed several animals and injured many more earlier this week. WSBT's Patrick Roth is at the live desk right now. Patrick, there are a lot of animals needing help. Yeah, 28 animals were rescued from that fire. They were then brought to the South Bend Animal Care and Control Center. And since then, there's been a tidal wave of donations to the center. It said nothing brings a community together quite like a tragedy. And that's certainly been the case at South Bend Animal Care and Control. We've had an incredible just outcry of donations and just pouring donations in. We're talking every 20 minutes we have somebody coming in uh, with generous donations, either monetary. We've had um, hundreds of blankets um, donated by a company earlier today. Well, we brought in uh, paper towels today. Um, we're going to bring stuff in every day we come in, and whatever we could do to help them out, we, can, we will do. When news broke that 28 animals were rescued from a fire earlier this week, people wanted to help. And they responded by donating time, money, and services that could help. You know, we don't have thousands of dollars to donate like some major corporations do, but uh, one thing we can do is donate our time, donate our equipment. The animals from the fire are under medical quarantine for now, but people still want to help. They're volunteering to take care of the other animals so staff can concentrate on those rescued from the fire. What we've done um, is help free up the staff um, from the regular dogs that were here um, so they can tend to those animals that came in from the house fire. We've got a lot of creative people coming in and giving ideas of how we can raise money, not even necessarily just for these animals, but it's really connecting with the community right now. It's, it's, been, it's been great because we're able to show the softer side of South and Animal Care and Control. Now, the animals from the fire are under medical quarantine, but that's just a precaution. All things considered, officials at the shelter say they're in very good health, and some might even be up for adoption soon. But there are lots of animals there that are up for adoption now, and they're in need of a good home, too. From the Live Desk, Patrick Roth, WSBT Channel 22 News.